One thing about Sketchless 3D, which is truly unique, is the use of its calculator. It's a part of being a parametric type of modeling program where you enter numbers rather than formulas or drag dots or, or any other method. The calculator tied to any object. You can use the calculator to resize or locate assembly, a board, a door, or a drawer. The center row of text boxes set the size. Set that to six. You'll notice when I enter the six in the hike text box, the bottom and top labels turn green and become buttons. So I can do that and the sum of 5 plus 6 is 11. If I wanted to move the bottom all the way to 0 and came off of that and that would just slide that like that. So take the board and put the bottom at say again 5, change the job. And that works in all three of the directions. You really shouldn't change a thickness because that's tied to your material size. I can say this is 12 and move that to the right. So you see that 12 is 3 quarters plus 12 is 12 and 3 quarters. And you can change any combination of these. You'd say I want the depth of the board to be four. The front is two inches away from the front of the cabinet. Then I click back. Four plus two is six. And it moved that back accordingly. You can also use it as a true calculator by pausing the cursor in the text box, putting in the calculation you want to have. So I say that's going to be minus three M one and sixteenth coming again to greens coming from the top. You see that the uh, ords changed and the math has changed. It has the advantage of being precise and fast and giving you the visual feedback of the values, size, and location, and the the other tool used for sizing and locating is the spreadsheet. And it functions just the same as the calculator does. The difference is that you get to see every, every object in the whole project. And you can then have a perspective about how one part might relate to another. And as far as function, it's just the same. You, you pick a cell and you change it. I say the three inches. When you click off, now the column headings become the buttons. I can just click top. You see that just the same as it was in calculator. Pause in there. You could say eight plus three. And could back here and see that math. So the combination of the spreadsheet and a calculator give you total control in a parametric way of the size and location of your objects in a very precise and easy to understand manner.